Today we're diving deep into the mind-bending world of the Curson and attempting to unravel the enigmatic ending that left us all scratching our heads. I'm your host, your name for, and before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our intriguing breakdowns. Is there a definitive way to explain the ending of the curse? Probably not, but that won't stop us from dissecting the bizarre story crafted by the brilliant minds of Nathan Fielder and Benny Safdie. Throughout the series, the curses kept us guessing with Asher's borderline unwatchable antics, mysterious curses, and the overall unpredictability of the plot. But nothing could prepare us for the jaw-dropping conclusion that left Asher's fate hanging in the balance. Let's jump straight into the ending. Whitney and Asher make their first TV appearance on Rachel Ray, and things take an awkward turn as they find themselves third-wheeling with Rachel and her guest, Vincent Pasteur. But the real twist comes when we discover a time jump and Whitney is now pregnant. The couple seems to have embraced conventional living, preparing a room for their child with an arc system, contradicting their previous stance on passive homes. But hold on, the real shocker comes when Asher wakes up on the ceiling the next morning, defying all logic. Whitney, now pregnant, navigates their house like it's a game of lava, fearing she might be sucked into the ceiling as well. As Whitney heads to the hospital to give birth, Asher clings to a tree, desperately begging for his life. But in a mind-boggling twist, he goes soaring into the sky, untethered and separated from reality. Now, let's explore the possibilities of what happened to Asher. Was it the curse, finally manifesting itself? Or could it be linked to his tumultuous relationship with Whitney? In a passionate speech in the penultimate episode, Asher acknowledges his flaws and expresses his willingness to do anything to save their relationship, even going away. Another perspective suggests that there might be no explanation at all, fitting the inherently unsettling tone of the series. As we grapple with Asher's bizarre fate, the curse leaves us with several unanswered questions. Who was stalking Whitney in episode 9? Why was Absher hesitant about the house being bought for him? And what about the constant thefts from Whitney's Espanola stores? The series ambitiously tackles numerous subplots, but the lack of closure on these fronts leaves us wanting more. One of the most intriguing aspects of the finale is Dogi's reaction and the neighbor's interpretation of Asher's calamity. Doji, a chaotic force throughout the series, finally has a reality check when Asher floats away. The neighbors, in their bewildered amusement, conclude it's all part of a new ITV show. The brilliance lies in ending the series on Doge's despair and the neighbor's misinterpretation, leaving us questioning the true nature of Asher and Whitney's desire. And there you have it, the mind-bending ending of the curse dissected and explored. Did we really get answers? Well, not exactly, but that's the beauty of this unconventional series. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit the like button. Share your theories in the comments below, and of course, subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite shows. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning the mysteries of television. Thanks for watching.